Hello everyone, my name is Steven George and I play video games. Today, we're going to be playing Minecraft. If you're not familiar with what Minecraft is, well, this Let's Play is going to make you familiar with it. Um, I'm not going to be approaching this Let's Play from the perspective that you have never heard of Minecraft before. Uh, that doesn't mean that you have to read up on Minecraft, um, but I'm not going to sit there and make this a tutorial of how to play Minecraft. I'm simply going to be playing the game and hopefully uh, you will be interested in the game. Um, many Let's Plays, I believe, uh, you can watch them and then you can say, you know, I, I watched this Let's Play and now I don't need to buy the game. Now this is going to be a little different for Minecraft. Minecraft, you're going to watch this Let's Play, and if you've never heard of Minecraft or if you've uh, never seen anything about Minecraft, it's probably going to interest you. You're probably going to want to buy the game um, because it is a sandbox game. You can actually do whatever you want, um, play forever. There's no real goal to the game. And yet it is remarkably fun. It's absolutely amazing. So we're going to start by clicking single player. Uh, you have the option to create a world. Uh, now this box down here um, is the seed. And basically what that means is if I type something in down here, and then you guys at home type it in, you get to play the exact same world that I'm in. Otherwise, it's, it is completely random. Because the channel name is Steven Plays, that's going to be the seed. And just... So I don't confuse myself, I'm going to name it the same thing. So if you'd like to play along with me, feel free to create a new world called Steven Plays. And we're going to create our new world. Now I am approaching this as if you have seen Minecraft before, but I'll try and do my best to explain some things on the way. At the same time, I can't dilly-dally too long or, well, I'll die. <laughs> okay, so this is Minecraft. Uh, hopefully you're already a little bit familiar with it. Now, one of the reasons I waited until 1.5 was out is that they added achievements. Uh, you can see up in the top right corner it's telling me to press E, so I'll press E. Achievement get, taking inventory. So I actually earned an achievement for doing that. Um, this is my character. This is me. I'm uh, kind of like a Ness clone. Um, okay, so this is the Stephen Plays world. Cool. Seems like we uh, started at some sort of desert and uh, it goes in many different directions. Uh, it looks like we have a mountain still loading over there. Uh, I have actually loaded up the Stephen Plays world before. I uh, just kind of walked around because I was curious to see if I could actually use it for this Let's Play. Turns out I can. It's it's actually a pretty, pretty cool world. There's a lot of different biomes uh, all in one place. And the biome is a, uh, a different different type of area. For example, that's a desert biome. Uh, that might, that over there might be some sort of uh, mountainous biome, or more probably in front of us. Think we've got like a, some kind of stream coming out of the side of the mountain there. Uh, the first thing you got to do in Minecraft is punch down a tree. Those of you watching expected me to do that, uh, if you've seen Minecraft at all. If you haven't seen Minecraft at all, you're probably confused and wondering why I'm doing this. Uh, that is because everything that you make in the game is going to start in some way, shape, or form from wood. Uh, the reason for that is wood is going to allow you to make a crafting table. Crafting tables are going to allow you to actually make things. Uh, let's see, what are our options here for places to live? Just going to walk around and see what's available to us. And this is all very temporary. Uh, this actually looks like a nice little place. Uh, there's a lot of stone here, so. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my inventory. And you can see we have a little 2x2 two two crafting area. This allows us to put items here and create different items. So if I put a single piece of wood, it's going to give us four wooden planks. So if I click over here, now I've converted that one piece of wood into four planks. So now I have planks. Uh, so by the same measure, if I put four, it's going to give me um, four every time I click it, which turns into 16. So I have 20 wooden planks. Uh, this section right here is my inventory. And uh, this section down here is my hotbar. Anything in the bottom nine spots down here, uh, I can easily grab. So for example, it's in slot one. I can use my mouse wheel and scroll down and access any of the ones down here. So I can also split it up and do however I'd like, but there's really no point to that. Now, once I have four wooden planks, which you get from one piece of wood, you can place one in each square and you can make a crafting table. Oh, look, we got another achievement. So let's put the crafting table down on the ground here. 
uh, how about here? Whenever we right click on this, now we have an even bigger crafting section. Now this is vital because even though we do have our own private crafting section of two by two, we're gonna need more space to work with because there's some items that are larger. In order to make an item, you more or less just form what it should look like using the crafting table. Um, okay, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sticks. So if we put two wooden planks next to each other, two wooden planks are equal to four sticks. Now we have sticks. We have four sticks and 14 planks. Now if we want to make a pickaxe, which is the first thing we're gonna wanna make, we're gonna split this up so we have uh, a stick and a stick, and it doesn't matter the, the quantity, just so you know, I can put one in one, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to put one, two, three. Now this makes the shape of a pickaxe, and this will make us a wooden pickaxe. Okay, we have another achievement, time to mine. So I'm gonna put this down here, and with a wooden pickaxe, we can finally mine stone. Now we can do this by hand, but it takes forever. If we have a wooden pickaxe, we can go right to town. Check that out. So now we're making real progress. We've got four cobblestone here. Hooray, cobblestone. Now with cobblestone, we can make better items. For example, the pickaxe we just made, we can replace the wood part with cobblestone. Now we have a stone pickaxe, which is better than the wooden pickaxe. I'm gonna continue using the wood pickaxe until it's depleted. You can see a little health bar under there on my uh, hotbar down there. And that's how long the, uh, the pickaxe is going to last. Now, if you've never played Minecraft and you're very confused about what's going on, just for the record, all I'm doing right now is just holding left click. And I'm mining through uh, this little section of the mountain. Now, one of the things we're going to want to try and find as soon as we can, before it gets dark, uh, and dark is something else entirely that I'll explain soon, and you can tell where the sun is. The sun is always moving. The sun started over there and is working its way. So now it's at the top of the sky and it's going to go down. When it gets all the way down, we better hope that we, uh, we have shelter by that time. We want to find coal if we can. So I'm looking for coal because coal is going to allow us to make torches. And torches are important because they provide light. If you don't have light, then you're stuck in total darkness. Now, it's not necessary to get coal. You can actually make charcoal by burning wood. But it's still really nice to have uh, have coal, because it's a little more convenient than, than burning all that wood. Well, we've got plenty of stone right here. Certainly, we can find some sort of coal. Hopefully in here. Oh, speak of the devil. That, right there, is coal. Hooray, coal. Now with coal, you can see now we have two pieces of coal. Come back to our crafting table. And we actually don't need the crafting table for this because we only need a two by two spot. First we need some more sticks. So there's some sticks. And if we put a stick here and a coal here, it'll make four torches. And with a torch, we select the torch, we can provide light, which is nice. They're also reusable. You can break them and then they'll go back to your inventory. But it's going to be very necessary because it will be night soon. And night can be very, very bad. Now by the time we get ourselves a little, little hidey hole dug out into this mountain, it will be night. And we have to have a place to stay at night because at night, monsters come out. So if we are not well hidden, the monsters are going to do terrible, terrible things to us. Another thing I definitely recommend, if you can, um, on your first, first day for Minecraft, is to get some wool from some sheep. You want three wool. You can see I took a little damage from that fall there. You can fall a maximum of, I believe, three blocks. If you fall four blocks or greater, you're going to start taking damage. So I took half a heart. And we'll learn about um, how to refill that, that health uh, a little bit later. Uh, with some wool, you can make yourself a bed. You're going to need three wool and three wooden planks. And that makes yourself a bed. 
Now, why is the bed important? Well, you don't have to have a bed. But if you have a bed, it allows you to instantly turn night into day. So if it's nighttime and you get in your bed, it will instantly become day. This is kind of important. It's not necessary, but I think it's a good idea just because then you don't have to deal with um, the monsters because then the monsters are gone. So, I, I mean, I personally recommend it, but, I mean, it's your game. You can do whatever you want. Um, if you're following along, you may be living at this exact same place. Maybe you found the exact same place I am. Uh, you could be somewhere else. It's hard to tell. Also, whenever I'm talking like this, I, I, I kind of feel like I'm Bob Ross. Also, if you notice, my uh, pickaxe just disappeared because the wooden one is dead. It's, it's gone. It ran out of life. So now I can replace it with this stone pickaxe. Also, check it out. I've totally got a lot of cobblestone by this time because I've been digging out the side of this cave. And there's plenty... Plenty, plenty, plenty of coal. Wow, look at that. you got to remember that each piece of coal, combined with a single stick, makes four torches. So each one of these blocks I'm breaking is going to give me four torches, essentially, you know, in theory. Oh, wow, look at that. That is something else. Looks like we picked a really good spot to, to start digging, um, because we there is a lot of coal here, so we actually should be good on coal for a while. Okay, that gives me a little spot to get out, and I'm having trouble seeing the sun. Okay, so the sun is starting to go down. Once it gets down below that mountain, it's going to start to get really dark. So I think what I'm going to do is break down my workbench here, so it goes back in my inventory, and I'm going to start figuring out exactly how I want to close off this mouth of the cave. Oh, and you can see it's it's actually starting to get darker and you can you can actually really notice it. So I'm going to place some blocks here. And all, I'm doing this just by right clicking. Okay, so this is my only entrance right now. Let's put ourselves a torch in here so we can actually see. And let's block this off and instead make a little window maybe right here. There we go. So now we have a little window we can actually see. Now in the morning, I'm going to fix this up a little better so we can actually, you know, tell what's going on. Maybe make ourselves a door, because you can actually have doors. So we'll have a door that goes in here. But right now, this is this is a pretty crappy house, guys. This sucks. This sucks big time. Um, we pretty much just mined into the side of a mountain, found some coal, and then it got dark. Uh, now what we really need is just a place to put this bed. So let's just mine ourselves out a little place here. Happy trees, happy trees. And we'll be able to put ourselves a little bed here. The bed only takes up two spots. So if we go down and select our bed here, place it right here, and now we have a bed. So if we right click on the bed, we get inside. Things get dark. And then, bam! You're saying, well, what just happened? Well, I'll show you. Now it's light again. That's that's good, by the way. That We want that to happen. Um, now, we really need a better entrance to this place than, than what we've got. Because it kind of sucks. Let's see here. I mean, this is this is our house thus far. It's, it's not much, but yeah, we've only been around for one day, so I guess we can't complain too much, right? I would say that what we need to do is probably make this the entrance way. Uh, maybe bring it over a little further. Because as it stands, it seems like we would just walk in and fall into this pit, which uh, we can we can use to mine down. Uh, stone is the best resource we have available to us, but there are other resources available. Uh, there's iron, there's gold, there's uh, diamonds, which is uh, the best resource in the game. Okay. So to prevent us from falling in that hole, put us a little block here. And I, I, I kind of like it like this. I guess we could put some blocks up here to make it perfectly square, but no, this is nice. We even have our little, ourselves almost like a little hallway type thing. And you can hear some noises up there in the, in the, in the background. That's a creeper! That's the other thing we got to learn about. The thing following us now that, there's a spider, but that's a creeper. These guys are bad. They explode. Oh, there's another one over there. Awesome. Now, you want to try and fight them on level ground if you can. 
Don't explode, don't explode. There we go. Okay. I managed to kill that one. Normally they explode. Let me let me show you how they explode. Maybe you can you'll get to see. There we go. And I allowed them to kill that pig for me. If you if you don't do it right, they explode. Uh, luckily he took out that pig for me. I can you can kill the pig any way you want. And the pigs are gonna supply you with um uh, meat, which you can eat and recover health. You can cook it and regain more health, and we'll cover that very soon. Uh, the spiders in the day are friendly, and at night they are enemies. Um, it's actually worth killing the spiders, at least a few of them, because you want to get their string, and the string is going to be used to make a bow. Now, hopefully, I'd be able to take out the spider, but a pickaxe isn't really a good weapon. It's more of a tool. However, if we come down here, get out of our workbench, I'll put our workbench down right here, if we put a single stick and two cobblestone, we make a sword. Now we have an actual weapon. So we can try and take out this spider and get its string. So let's come up here to where that spider was. Hi, spider. I know you're friendly, but I'm going to have to kill you if that's all right. Now, once you attack it, it will become hostile and try to kill you. But uh, We took that out with no problem. It's got ourselves some string. String is going to be really useful for whenever we decide to make a bow. Now, to make a bow, you need three sticks and three strings. So we're not going to be able to make a string right, uh, make a bow right now because we don't have enough string. But we'll uh, we'll revisit that. Okay. So this is going to be where our shaft goes down inside. So we'll probably start making our mine down there. We can go any direction with it, really. Um, if I wanted to make my my room for my uh, bed a little bigger. That would probably be a pretty solid idea. Because right now it seems to be in the way of the floor. So let's just hollow this out. And it'll also give us some more cobblestone. Cobblestone is probably something that you will have way, way too much of by the end. Uh, I, I say by the end of the game, but the game, do the game doesn't exactly end, so I guess I can't say that. There we go. So now we have a lot of room. Uh, so I'm just going to put the bed right here. And I'll even put a little torch in front of it. Okay. So I would say our place has expanded at least a little bit, right? Yeah, sure. It looks better. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to put some more cobblestone here. So now we have, like, legitimate steps. Now I talked earlier about making a door. And doors can be made with planks. Six planks in the shape of a door make a door. Now we only have enough planks to make a single door, so we're going to have to only put a single door down. But we'll, we'll get another door. We can get another door if we have enough planks. Let's see what time of day it is. Okay, so it's noon. So I'd say that we have enough time to get a little more wood. Now we could chop down the wood with our hands like we did earlier, or we could make the correct tool. The correct tool for that is going to be an axe, and that is made with that shape. So now we have an actual stone axe. With an axe, we'll be able to chop down the wood a lot faster. So let's over, head over to the nearest tree, which is over here, and let's get chopping. Hopefully we won't run into any more creepers. And normally, if I'm going to take something out, I, I try to get rid of all of the wood. I can, uh, I can't reach that one because if you take if you take care of it, uh, then it completely gets rid of the tree, uh, and all of the foliage disappears. And in my opinion, the foliage is just normally in the way. Okay, so that's a good bit of wood. We have 14 pieces of wood. Oh, and earlier I never addressed it, but um. This is gunpowder, and that's what the creeper drops. And the creeper doesn't drop that if it explodes, but if you can manage to kill it, you get gunpowder. Gunpowder can be used to make TNT, which might seem unnecessary, but it allows for some pretty cool explosions. So with wood, we're going to convert them into wooden planks. And you might be saying, well, is there ever a reason that you don't want to convert it into wooden planks, that you want wood? Well, there are a few. You can burn wood and make charcoal. Charcoal is a coal substitute, but 
I think we have plenty of coal. Um, and you can also use it, well, as a decoration if you wanted to make a wooden house. So there we go. Now we've got double doors. Is that required? Well, no. You can, I mean, you can really do whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to put a, uh, a torch right here. So we have ourselves a little torch. And this is our house. That's well, not bad for two days worth of work. I mean, we didn't even work on it at night because we skipped night because we have a bed. The inclusion of beds is uh, something that is somewhat recent. Um, I think it was update 1.3, maybe? So it wasn't too long ago that we uh, that we got beds. Um, but I'm quite fond of them. I like being able to, to skip the night because the night is when bad things happen. Okay. I really like what we've done here. This is really nice. Obviously, there's a lot left to do, and we haven't even scratched uh, mining down for more supplies. Uh, we haven't even talked about food or, or making uh, what you can do with uh, cobblestone if you go in a circle, which is an oven. So there is a lot left to discuss, and I will be discussing it on the next episode of Minecraft. So thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate the fact that you watched this video, and stay tuned for the next episode when we will do even more exciting Minecraft stuff with my Bob Ross voice.